Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Brandy and I am back with another video. So on today's video, we are going to be doing sugaring part two. Two, 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 two. Um, today we're going to be talking about how your profile should... most vital part of your sugaring <laughs> experience to find the right older gentleman or sugar daddy or whatever you want to call them um basically i'm going to give you guys some tips and tricks on how you can make your profile look good so i'm just trying to make sure i follow one two three four steps. but i did want to kind of include some things that maybe like i haven't really heard a lot of people talking about like terminology that you're going to see in some people's bios um well some men's bios particularly so i did want to talk about that as well and i did want to talk about this hair that i have in my head i said in my head this hair that i have on today this wig um i got this wig from alshray hair it is a synthetic wig i am testing out a couple different wigs and personally i don't hate the wig i just don't like the color of the wig um, probably this view you probably cannot tell but it's supposed to be like a brown color but to me it looks rose gold like if you look at it in some lighting it looks kind of more gold than it looks brown and I've never had like brown hair before so I never really knew how it would look on me but you guys can um, let me know in the comments what you think of it because I like it the wig was only like 40 some dollars before like tax so it came up to like $51 or whatever. And I got it from Amazon and it's um, from Altre Hair. And so far it's okay. I do have some cons with it. I wish that it was a little thicker. Because if you guys can't tell, I have the wig pushed to the front. It's not really like, I don't know if you guys can tell from this angle. But I thought it was going to be a little thicker. Um, so when you have, when I'm like have it towards the back, like it will look good. I don't know I just I don't really I didn't really care I don't really care for it but um the, as far as like it not being as thick as I would like it to be so ooh, it look like my little shirt is <laughs> anyway but yeah so we're gonna go ahead and get into the video if you guys want to learn how you can make your profile attract the perfect rich man please keep on watching oh I don't know why I keep forgetting this do not forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe to this video. I would love for you guys to join my sugaring series if this is what you're trying to learn more about. I do typically try to give as much informative information as I can. But yes, just please go ahead and subscribe. Make sure you hit that bell notification so you guys are alerted when I post, which will technically be probably part three. But we're going to go ahead and get into this video. All right? All right. All right, so your sugar baby profiles. Let's talk, cause we got a lot to talk about in this video today. So I have my notes here on my fizzone, okay? And pretty much, I'm just gonna, we are just gonna get started. I'm gonna just, you, you, yeah. Okay, so what you should have before creating. So before creating your profile, you do want to make sure you have really good pictures. Pictures what's going to attract the man to you. Oh, <clears throat> you should definitely, definitely look put together in your bios. I know that it's probably going to be a little different for those of you who's not really used to being dressed up, dolled up. Um, girly per se now if you are typically a girlier girl so you like love to do your makeup your hair is always on point you love taking pictures you're good at that you'll probably have a little bit of an advantage but I'm trying to help those who are not necessarily a girly girl type of person so your pictures have to look really good so when I think of a, a girl she's gorgeous the way that she dresses is very put together um, very um, sleek, very kind of high class. It, no, it is high class, not kind of, it's very high class. So you're going to want to look like 
put together. Um, here is some um, tips that can that I can definitely give you guys on how to achieve those looks. So with your hair. So I am typically 90% of the time I am rocking my natural fro. I have videos in my natural fro. I typically rock, um, rock my natural fro. I'm just starting to get back into wigs and things like that here recently. On a budget and you know because some people feel like you got to pay three or four hundred dollars for a wig. No, get you like a good synthetic wig that you can like take pictures in and that you feel comfortable being out in public in or you know things like that. So typically I know like some girls would probably say like you're very Afrocentric like I consider myself technically Afrocentric. Um, it's just not for sugaring. So I would definitely invest in like maybe like maybe three or four wigs that you can kind of rotate <laughs> throughout your process. Your process. Um, I keep saying I'm a lot. I do apologize. Like I said in the last video, I'm kind of going off the top of my head. If I write down everything, this video would be probably an hour long. But yeah, so. Find you some good like synthetic hair companies. Like right now, I'm, I'm experimenting with some synthetic hair companies. So, cause I don't want to come off 100, 200, $300. Like, yeah, I have a sugar daddy who could pay for it for me, but it wouldn't be much of a use because I don't have time to constantly glue down my head, like hit the head, the wig on the head, make sure the hair look right, make sure this and that third. I don't really go nowhere. So I don't really have a use for a wig constantly. So, you know what I'm saying? That's just for me. So I just feel like if I could find something for half that price, why not, sis? Hey, and that's on period. Now with hair, I would kind of stay away from color. Color can, can scare the guy away, especially with us African-American girls. I know that we love our greens, our reds, our yellows, our oranges. You know, we love Jada Cheese and how she constantly changes her hair, Black China, Cardi B. We get it, okay? It's like a trend in our culture that we, we go outside of the box when it comes down to hair. In sugaring, you want to stay in a safe range because majority of the men that are on there are regular degular older white men so they'll be scared if you come in there looking like you don't belong in these restaurants these five-star restaurants and things like that so stay within blacks um browns are cool if browns look good on you I would not do blonde. I wouldn't do nothing that bold. I would definitely stick with blacks, browns, maybe even maybe an ombre. Like I feel like anything that's of a muted color will probably work the best. Now, the next thing we're gonna talk about is makeup. Your makeup needs to be popping. Like it don't have you don't have to have a full beat. As far as like were you doing like you know look you look like <laughs> where you look like you don't have to do a full beat where you look like a model for Mac when they come out with like their holiday collection it's like a bunch of blues and silvers and grays like you don't have to look like that but you definitely need to have like good makeup you need to have um, a pretty eyeshadow good lashes nothing too big not them 34 millimeter lashes that literally like if you're walking through the door your lashes walk in first like we're not doing that keep it natural keep it cute um nails same way you don't want no long nails like cardi be having you want to make sure your nails you don't have to be boring like french tip but you don't have to be crazy either you know what i'm saying like keep it cute so like for me i love rose gold i love rose gold on my hands so typically I do go for rose gold color or um, some type of nude color for my nails. I feel like it's safe. It's not too crazy. But yeah. And outfits. We'll talk about outfits as well because outfits are important for the outfits you have in your bio. So this is probably the most crucial. So when you are dressing, when you're taking your pictures, you want to look presentable. Hey, there are age dresses like I'm 25. We are very clubby like cleavage showing all the time. Like not really all the time. I guess it depends on who you are. But your cleavage is showing um, very like film form fitting like 
Let me just rephrase it. So when you are dressing up to take your pictures on this for the, your for whatever site you're using, you want to make sure your outfits look nice. You do not want to wear um, shirts that shows your titties. Shoulders are fine to me. I don't really feel like it's nothing, it's nothing wrong with shoulders. I feel like shoulders is sexy. But you don't want to have shirts showing your titties. You don't want to have on shorts like if it's summertime and you're taking pictures in some shorts you don't want them too short when you if you especially if you have an ass like where you're gonna see your ass because it's gonna come off very slutty like and that's what's gonna attract the sweeteners and the men's and the the um the tricks and things like that so you want to make sure you look good period like you want to make sure you don't look cheap also i i need some i need to definitely say this about hair no colorful braids it is so tacky. Do not take pictures in colorful braids. It just doesn't look good. It's just, it's just not. It's gonna scare them away. You don't want to do anything. If I, if you don't take nothing else from this video, take this. Do not do anything that's gonna scare them away. Because nothing worse than creating a profile and then when you're on there, you're only, you're only attracting the wrong men. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah, let's not do that. Pictures, the topic of pictures. You're gonna want good lighting, okay? You're not, you don't wanna have no pictures where you standing outside your cousin house and they only got the porch light on. That does not help, okay? You want good pictures. You want the pictures to look like you. You know what I'm saying? Like you want them to, like the background has to be clear. You know what I'm saying? Like you, it has to look like, you know what I'm saying? Like look good. So here's some, um, no, also, no childish Snapchat pic, no filters. I think it was going on with my speech today. So no childish Snapchat um, filters on your pictures. It, it's just not, it's just not a good look. Okay, we it's girl, it's childish. It's 2020. Come on now, we we not doing filters. Filters are fun and stuff for Snapchat, but when it's for sugaring, no. Okay, we're not doing that. Um, oh, you, uh, make sure you have at least one full body picture. And I'm telling you guys this because um, the men will ask. They will ask. And it's okay if they ask because maybe they just want to know if you have like a figure that they're, they're fishing for. Um, at least include one full body picture when you're taking your picture. So always get like that one full body picture. Don't do a bunch of selfies because like they just won't be interested. But like just give them something to like a little sex appeal to see your little curves because we all got them. Okay. Just show them. Uh, let's see. Let's see. Okay. Hold on. I'm going to get some water. I'll be back. Okay, by the way, you guys follow me on Instagram at underscore shut up brandy underscore. And you guys can also like. DM me some pictures if you guys want to know if it's like worthy of being on a sugaring site, things like that. So I can give you guys those professional that feedback. I do respond, so don't feel like shy about it or anything. Just like write me like, hey, you know, I sent your YouTube video. I really want to know what you what you think of this video. Um, yeah, and we'll just go from there. But yeah, uh, the next thing we're gonna talk about is like, so once you get your pictures together, the next step you're gonna take is you're gonna go to whatever site that you decide to use, whether it's Seeking Arrangement, Secret Benefits, Established Men, whatever, and you're going to create your profile. Now, on specific sugar sugaring sites, they're going to tell you not to use your real name. Do not use your real name. I don't care if your name is the sexiest name in the world. Do not use it because people are creepy as hell and they will look you up. Same thing. Here's another thing for safety reasons. Do not use your real phone number when you're communicating with these men. These men are really, they can be really creepy, okay? Not saying they're all like that, but there's some out there that's really like that. So you really want to be careful. After you created your name, you set everything up, you uploaded your pictures. The next thing you're going to do, they're going to ask you to write a brief description about yourself. So this is where you're supposed to get really creative, right? So typically your sugar daddy wants you to be someone fun because typically sugar daddies want um, young girls, they want excitement. So you have to sound exciting, sum it up, is to really like take some time out of your week and write down probably like five to six traits 
that you how you would describe yourself and then try to figure out how to make that sound good in your sugar baby bios i would not say i wouldn't use the word fun anymore fun is really played out like i'm a fun girl it's played out i would use words like exciting adventurous um intelligent um and then the second part they're gonna ask you is what are you looking for so with this section you can get very creative so depending on what you're looking for in the guy typically a sugar baby wants someone who is generous right you want somebody who's gonna spend money you want somebody who's gonna run up a check right i would not put that in your bio we're not saying generous. We're not saying spoiled anymore. It's played out. So let's go ahead and switch that up. Let's say we want to genuinely date older men. I mean, you can kind of get the, your point across that way. You know what I mean? Like, I just want to genuinely date older men. I want, um, you could say you're seeking a man of business. Like, if you're an entrepreneur, you can say I'm looking for someone to um, mentor me with my business i'm looking for someone who um obviously is luxurious do you make your profile you're gonna start to see the men the men right y'all this can be a lot at once i'm just keeping it all the way real with y'all it can be a lot because these men it gets crazy it gets crazy. It's a red flags when you're looking at these profiles. So I have listed as red flags. The number one that I usually signal a red flag is if their bios are extremely long. If their bios are long and it's like you're reading a contract or the terms and conditions, usually sweeteners, they're just, I said salt based. <laughs> They're sweeteners. They're not really here to spend checks because why do you why do I have to sign a contract to date you? You know what I mean? Like why do I have to why do I have to sign a contract to date you? That just makes no sense. Or to be your sugar baby. Like I get it if they don't want to be scammed. I get if they don't want to be catfish. Like I get stuff like that, but why are you including all this unnecessary stuff? in the contract and then we have the conversation is nothing like is you're literally everything you put in your contract you do the complete opposite okay that, that's what's gonna happen um also if if you yeah like if they just have unnecessary stuff in their bios or if their bios are too short that is nothing there like some guys will literally say write me to find out more why would i write you to find out more you're not giving me nothing to go off of to know if you worth my time. Maybe he just saw his network would speak for him. I don't know. You make that judgment if you decide to go with that or not. But I wouldn't. Next thing, um, terminology that you're going to see. So this is very important because I feel like a lot of YouTubers kind of don't talk about this. So you're going to see a lot, a lot, a lot. FWB. Friends with benefits. What that means is they are looking for a girl that is going to put out right so most of them is more about the benefits than they are about the friend so whenever you see that just know that means sex just in a more blind way it just means sex um discreet you might see a man and say he wants to be discreet if he's discreet that means he most likely has a wife he has kids so he doesn't want to be in public with you so he's going to try to get you to a hotel or he's going to try to get you somewhere unsafe most likely and have you there for for his sexual pleasure and you don't want to do that that's not a sugar baby he's looking for an escort and you're not that now if you are that obviously that's what you're that's what you would go for but if you're not and you're genuinely trying to find a good guy don't go for those guys um no professionals if they have in their bios no professionals, that means they want a girl who's new to the game is very naive. Because professionals know what they're doing. They're going to have meet fees. They're going to have all their shit in a row. 
if you're new and you don't watch YouTube before you get into this game, they're the ones that's looking for you because they know they can definitely cheapen your ass throughout the whole process. Period. Period, period, period. You better listen to me, I'm telling you. No strings attached. That means they don't want you to be clingy. They don't want you to be um, thinking that it's going to be more than what it is. Typically, that's how they all think. But I feel like, in a sense, when you have a good sugar daddy, y'all supposed to be friends. So I don't understand why I, I have to be... I can't have nothing else with you because you just whatever. No strings attached basically means like they have other shit going on and you won't be a priority basically. And don't get too too clingy because he'll probably ghost in a minute. So yeah. Married men. If he's married, he's not worth your time. Because especially on seeking arrangements, they'll put married but looking. What do you think they're looking for? They're looking for what's missing in their marriage, which is usually attention and sex. You don't want that. Unless you're okay with that. I'm just saying, if you are okay with that, that's that's cool, okay? But for us girls who are looking for a legitimate sugaring relationship, then we don't want married men, period. We don't want them, okay? Leave them to whoever decides to take them, their wives, whoever, okay? We do not want married men. Okay, so I, I just wanted to give you guys those tips. Hopefully I helped you out. Um, and I really hope you guys subscribe to my channel. The next, um, watch that video, and then my next upload is gonna be First dates, how to have a conversation, what to expect, and safety. We're going to talk about all that stuff in my next video. So I hope this helps you guys out. Do not forget to like this video, comment on it, subscribe to my channel. And if you need to do so, share it with a friend. Tell her to come on over here and watch the sugaring series. And I hope you guys have a wonderful evening. Bye!